What's up my fellow skill stacker? In today's training, I wanna to talk to you about the different types of graphic design specifically for print. Print is a massive industry that is continuing to grow. Now there's a lot of competition when it comes to actually printing this stuff and it's become more competitive, but as far as design goes, there's a lot of opportunity as designers are moving more to the web to capture some of this print business. But if you don't know the different verticals and the 10 different areas of print design, this is where you're gonna learn that in this video and you might find some great opportunities for you to do some design work for printing. All right, so the first type of print design, and this is the area that I first built my business around, is stationary. And the specific product that I wanna talk about, and we're gonna talk about a few of them, is business cards. Everybody's got business cards, the demand is insane, and it's a good way to offer a low ticket product to get your foot in the door. Along with business cards in your stationery is letterheads and envelopes. A lot of businesses don't really use these as much nowadays, but this is a really good niche if you become really good at doing stationary design and you can come up with a package for stationary design along with a logo, a business card design package, you can make a lot of money and get the foot in the door. It's not the most amount of money possible, but you can make a lot of money just being the stationary design type of creative. The second type of print design, and this is growing in popularity and another massive opportunity and vertical for you is packaging. Whether that's shopping bags, product labels, or any kind of product packaging, this is a great opportunity to take your designs and translate them into real world products that people can hold in their hands and you could build a portfolio and a business around just doing packaging design. The third type of print design, and this one's a big one, huge one where you can make gobs and gobs of money is apparel design. Everybody is wearing apparel. Everybody wears clothing, whether it's a hat, whether it's a shirt, a graphic tee, a sweater, a hoodie, a towel. These are all different types of apparel design, bandanas, masks, right? There's all kinds of apparel out there that you can create for people, whether it's a jacket, that you can make a lot of money on. So apparel design is a really important piece of print design. The fourth type of print design are books, book covers, interior book design, book illustration. This is another great niche within the graphic design space you could build your empire on. There are lots of people publishing books every single day on Amazon and bookstores and all over the place. Mini books, digital eBooks, you can find print design work for books all over the place, the demand is insane. And if you build your niche and you build your portfolio around this, you can also make a lot of great money. All right, the fifth type of print design, and this is a little bit more of a dinosaur, but it could be a really good marketing tactic for your own internal business or for one of your clients, and this is what I always recommend if you're gonna go this direction, is newspapers, who uses newspapers anymore besides wrapping up their glassware, and magazines. Magazines are still fairly popular, there's still a lot of them out there, but they're really great marketing tools for local businesses. If you're thinking local or you're trying to reach your local neighborhood market, doing magazine design and doing newspaper design can still be a viable option. It's not the most, but it's an important one that I wanted to mention. Number six is probably my number one and most favorite. It's the thing I've done almost the longest and I fell in love with back in 2006, and that is signage. Signage design is a huge industry. There's so many different things you can do from vehicle graphics to trade show booths, to yard signs, to any kind of large format, storefronts, banners, Billboards, signage design is a massive industry. Everywhere you look, there's a sign. I can literally look in any direction and I'll see a sign. Signage design is a great industry. It's a great niche, lots of money there. This is one that you definitely need to know and think about. If you like doing vector-based artwork, signage design might be a great fit for you. Number seven is an area that I've never really spent much time in, but it's an important one that I wanna mention. And I've noticed that a lot of women gravitates to this one specifically, and that is greeting cards and announcements. Whether it's a, a seasonal greeting card for a holiday, or it's a wedding invitation, whatever that is, greeting cards and invitations are huge for designers. This is a massive space, and if you like doing events, if you like doing holidays, if you like doing seasonal stuff, greeting cards can be a fun thing for you to do. You can actually do on your own and profit and make your own greeting cards and sell them on your own website and build your own business around that where you don't even need to get clients. And you can fund that by going out and getting clients and doing greeting cards and invitations for other people. The eighth type of print design is promotional products, whether it's a pen, whether it's a mug, whether it's a mouse pad, which who uses mouse pads anymore, or some piece of technology like a USB drive or some sort of technology where people can store data on it. You can print promotional products through lots of different companies, even stuff like this wristband that says lions not sheep. This is a perfect example of a promotional product. Promotional products are everywhere. 
They're commonly used. There's a lot of demand for them. I've done lanyards and all kinds of really neat stuff inside of the promotional product space. So promotional products have to be on this list of print design. It's not the biggest, but it can be a little add-on. It's something I would consider doing if you're already doing signage and stuff for event promoters. Print design number nine, and I think this is one that also kind of applies over to the event side. This is a really big one for me. I did a lot of this in my early years of doing club promoting and events and music shows is posters. Posters are really neat, whether it's for films, for shows, for events, posters, and being a poster designer, I know a few people that I'm actually connected to on LinkedIn that just do poster design. I really love doing poster design. I think it's really fun. It gives you a canvas to create whatever you wanna to create to advertise or market whatever brand or event or special occasion that you have. So poster design is another really great vertical. And last but not least is number 10, and that's brochures. I put a few different things into this category because I think they're all technically a brochure, but you could do a trifold brochure. You can do a menu design. So restaurants, I consider to be brochures. They're elaborate multi-page brochures. You can do uh, all kinds of things like presentation folders. So if you're going to have a bunch of flyers, you're going to stick them in a presentation folder with your business card, or you're going to present this to your client. That is considered to me another form of brochure. Brochures is a really great niche. It's a really good style of print design, and it's a really informative way to educate your clients. So brochure design had to make the list. So those are the 10 different types of print design. There's massive of opportunities and areas and niches inside of each one of those where you can build your empire, your graphic design business, and really scale up and add more revenue to your bottom line. So if you guys have any other ideas or want me to add something to this list, definitely drop a comment down below or comment on this training, and I'll see you guys on the next video. I'm Adrian Boisel, and as always, keep looking up.